Well guys, this is the moment that we've been waiting for, gutting this tiny, nasty old bathroom and getting ready for a bigger, better, and more beautiful bathroom. For the last two years, this has been our bathroom. It's nothing exciting, it's actually pretty small. I could almost touch the walls on both sides. So it's tiny. We're talking five feet wide by maybe six, six and a half feet deep. So all this bathroom really has is a pedestal sink, a toilet, and a tub shower combo. It's a basic bathroom, nothing fancy. The ceiling is wood painted. Now there's no ventilation in this bathroom. So that's been a problem and something we'll definitely address in the new bathroom. And now this wall is drywall. I'm thinking it's drywall over wood. I'm looking forward to seeing what's behind this because the whole rest of the house has wood walls. And well, you can see right here that the drywall is almost flush with the wood trim. That tells me that it's probably sitting on something. Another thing I wanna point out about this wall is look how dirty this is. I know it's a shame, but I wanna show you because what happened was this textured drywall was never painted, never. So this is just drywall compound. And that's why it's so disgusting because every time we try to wash, it would just wipe away the compound and make a big muddy mess. I can't believe somebody textured the walls and never painted. Nothing in here is painted except for the ceiling. None of the walls are painted. This is just raw drywall with texture on it. It's crazy. So very hard to clean, very hard to maintain. It melts when it gets wet. You can't wipe it when it's wet because it just wipes off all the compound to get a mess. It's been a disaster. So I'm just looking forward to seeing it go. We recently cut off all the water. We're gonna gut this room, see what we're working with and plan from there. I don't see any wood back here, so I could be wrong about this. Be interesting to see. Let's get the toilet out of the way first. The smell, the smell.
Now this is kind of neat. We can actually see the remnants here of a small medicine cabinet. I mean, look how tiny this would have been. And it looks like a light above it. So bathroom light, little tiny, tiny medicine cabinet. And it looks like we have a layer of tongue and groove boards, drywall. So here's the original wall. Here's a renovation that took place. And now we're another renovation that took place that we're pulling off. So looks like it's seen three bathrooms so far. You see this? That's spray foam. That's all spray foam. And yuck. I don't even know. Just yuck. Hey, check this out. There's an old steel drain line back here. See that? And it goes straight across. Can you see it? There's an old cast iron drain in here. I think we'll leave this for a moment and work on the rest of this drywall.
Look at this. That's the way they have this wired.
Well guys, that's all I have in me. I am wiped out. So we're gonna stop now and we can call that gutted. It's gutted. Yeah. There's still some more that has to come out, but man, this has been the hardest project of this home renovation so far. I mean, it is just, I feel like I'm abused right now. Just yeah. be up. That floor, like the whole bathroom was a hassle. We got multiple layers of walls and everything. And everywhere, three inch drywall screws everywhere, holding the drywall, holding the floor, everything. I don't know why that floor is so hard. The hardest floor I've ever lifted. Ever. Wow. I have to cut it out foot by foot, basically. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the store sometime and I'm going to get some new blades for this reciprocating saw. We're going to charge up our batteries and I'm going to do a lot more cutting and just getting out all the other stuff. But also this, this isn't done. Like once I finish up the floor work, the, the actual big wall where that cast iron pipe was, that whole wall has to come out mm -hmm. because we didn't explain our plans. I should have, but we'll talk about design later when we get to that point. But basically the bathroom was too small. I mean, it's tiny. You saw it. What we want to do is expand the bathroom and lay it out differently into the next room. So uh, we just need a little bit more room in there. And so that wall has to go for the expansion. It's gonna, we'll talk more about design later. But anyway, more demo. I can't do it right now. I'm just, I'm worn out. And the good thing is that's all wood. It's just wood framing. Not that we burn our construction debris. <laughs> but I'm saying that it's just wood. And if we miss the dumpster, it's not a big deal. At least we got the toilet, the plumbing, all the plywood, all the painted the wood. The dumpster stuff into the dumpster. We got that done because the dumpster, we only have what, one more day of it. Two more days. Possibly two. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure we got this done before it was too late. And we did it. So cool. Yeah. Maybe next time I'll be working on the bathroom again. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I just need a break. So thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. See ya.